Yep. Oh, but I gotta get out of here. It's not a safe spot. Oh gosh. Oh, I gotta get out of here. I ditched the corporate grind to pursue my passions for fishing and travel. Now I serve as a guest guide at Los Buzos Resort, where I help kayak anglers figure out one of the most epic fisheries on the planet. You're watching Field Trips with Robert that Field. Is a fish, bro! Buenos dias, amigos. Welcome back to Field Trips. Welcome back to Panama. Welcome back to Los Buzos. Seas are calm, seas are flat. It's looking good, I just got in the water. We're gonna get over here to the main spot we're starting at. I'm gonna be doing some jigging this morning. See if we can't find some fish on the jig. But the water's pretty clear, it's looking nice. Now it is the rainy season, but you wouldn't know it. I mean, it's pretty, pretty clear, uncharacteristically clear, but then you notice, as is the case most of the time of the rainy season over this way, we got some clouds forming, building. So we'll probably get rained on at some point today, but honestly it's hot, it's just gonna feel nice. But we're getting pretty close to the spot, let's get up here. Start catching some fish. <laughs> yeah, sometimes they'll come up, that's good. Just keep that line tight. What? Sweet, I'm on too. I'd get it in the boat. Yeah, lift up. Don't slot that line right there. You're gonna you're gonna lose it right there. So make sure you got enough line out, and then lift that rod up straight up, and it'll it'll pendulum in towards you. Oh, yellow snapper. Hey, but uh, la cena frito or no? No, 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 no. All right, yellow snapper. Not a very big one, but these guys are good fried whole. So we'll keep it. Hey, mio cabrón, no, no, talk. <laughs> Man, that's candy bait. You remember what that fish looks like, brother, because that's the bait out here, really. It gets bit a lot, and it's the easiest to fish. And Bonita's going nuts out here, out deep. <laughs> right here in front of me. That would be freaking wild. Oh, yeah, I'm on. Fish on again. Yeah, this feels like a bonita, man, if you want it. Ooh, hey. Okay, hold on, my book. Okay. He, just, he may not last very long, but he could get bit. Still, let him down, let him down. That might have felt kind of like a nice blue runner. What, jumped? No. uh Whoa. Landon here said he saw a sail and a bill come up like a sailfish. Something on. Hey, you want a live Anita? Come over here, quick, 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 quick as you can. Don't worry about organizing everything, just set it down, come over here as quick as you can. This Benita, we gotta be fast. Yeah, just come up right up here on my side. No, I got it. You hand me the hook. You gotta keep moving with that. Okay. So just gonna do circles around here. Oh, he came off and then came right back for it. <laughs> Fish on the jig. I got this live bait up behind me still. Decided to drop the jig because I had some good marks and got something on. It might be a a jack. That's kind of what it feels like now. This big school of fish blew me. I think it was a school of jack. What's that? What size jig you got on there? Um, this is the bigger one. It's a 60 gram? It's 140. Yeah, yeah, that'll work. I just went over, I got this live bait out and 
went over a big school of something. It's a jacker ball. Not massive. These fish, there's a bunch of these around. They like the green water. Okay. It's cool fish. There's, ow, oh God. They're strong for their size for sure. Now actually I was trying to turn my camera on and it came off, which is the story of my life. And then my jig was just sitting there and another one came back. The first one felt bigger. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah. There's a bunch of them down there. There were, I think we drifted off. It just, be, my, you see my other line? Yeah, I see it out the back. I'm gonna try to. Pew. The spot is actually behind me this way. So you can kind of go around and do like a wide turn. I'll reel mine in some so it's easier to... My stuff's all twisted around anyways. Yeah, there you go. Now you can just start pedaling that way. And as long as you go wide around me, we should be good. We should... I'll pedal offshore a little bit and get some separation. Wow! Hey, check this fish out. No, that's not dinner. No, levantalo. That's a big boy. Yeah. They're fun on the light setups for about two minutes. Hey guys, look at this. Yee yee. That's a big jack. Grande. Oh, you're on. Everyone's hooking up. Yep. See, I was going pretty fast. Are you that one? Yeah. I'm coming to help you. I'm coming to help you. If it's a bait, it's yours. I, th I think it might be. Okay, yeah, go ahead and reel it in because if this is a bait, we'll need to reel it in anyways to put it on there. Oh, someone fell out. I think I'm like caught. This is a perfect bait. You're not caught on mine. Oh, yeah, you are. That's okay. Um, hey, this is the, uh, damn it. Okay. She's hung on my something. Oh, yeah. There you go. Reel it in. And then I'm going to bring you this bait. See. When you there. Okay. Oh. You have a fish. Nice. <laughs> it might have been. It might have been. I don't know. That's perfect. Just don't let the line slack. And so reel if it kind of slacks a little bit. Yep. Yeah, they're not going to just like come in. So you're going to have to reel. You can kind of lift up with the rod and then reel as you go down with the rod a little bit. Perfect. And with that fish, it's okay. But in general, you want to pull your rod tip towards the front of the boat. Like yeah, yeah. Oh, I might have came out. I distracted you. That's my fault. Okay. But yeah, like if a big, if you have a big fish on and you're fighting it out to the side and it runs, it'll, fl it'll flip you. Yeah. If your rod's at the front, it can't flip you end over end. You know what I mean? Well, that was good. Good job. I distracted you. That's my fault. You lost it, but yeah, that's okay. I got a bait for you here. I'm bringing it now. Whew. Sorry. Okay. You can hold on to the rod. Okay. I'll show you how we hook these guys in case you catch one of these and no one's around later in the week. Yeah, you just put it through the lip. Through the top flip. You go in his mouth, just a little ways back. And now it's kind of hard. You kind of got to push on his head. And now don't push right up there because it's going to okay. come through and get you. And you throw it in. Um, well, we're really close to them. I know. <laughs> um, Basically, you know, this is your drag. Yes. So if you go all the way down, the line's gonna come out really easy. Okay? That's what you want. Well, for right now, because we gotta let them down. Oh, you know, we gotta okay. let some line out. 
And this is your clicker is why it makes that noise. Yeah. You can turn that off, but then you really have to keep your thumb on it to slow it down. I would just leave this on. Okay. Uh, yeah, watch out. I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> sorry. We'll, uh... Oh, that's your fish. Yeah. Where's our fish? <laughs> so that's called a Sierra mackerel, which that can also be good bait yeah, at that, that size. Like really yeah, but they're actually good to eat, so we'll probably throw that guy in the cooler. Sorry about that, bro. I knew we were too close, and I just did it anyways. <laughs> start pedaling away, and then you can start letting them out. That old school of fish, something hit my plastic, and then old school of fish followed it out. But it came off. My first cast. Yep. cast feels pretty decent but I gotta get out of here it's not a safe spot oh gosh oh I gotta get out of here oh, and it's off jeez that was intense that's not a safe spot I think it broke me off I could not fight that fish the way I wanted to without it uh, dragging me in somewhere I did not want to go. Yeah, I think it broke me off. Whew! Well, that was intense. <laughs> what happened? Uh, broke the braid. I think it had me on the rocks. Damn! Well, that was wild. That was something pretty good. I don't know what that was, but it was strong. I could barely pedal out of the danger zone with that thing tugging on me. Phew! All right, I gotta tie a new leader on and, and get right back up. That was actually on a soft plastic, because I never really fished around here, but I thought throwing it at the rocks might work, and two out of three casts got, got hit. First time was something small. That time, that was not small. Oh, man. That was intense. Let's try again. All right, so this is what I just hooked up on was pretty much this. It's a Z-Man plastic on a pretty heavy jig head. Really something I do not fish here very often at all, but just kind of trying something new. I fished here a ton, done a lot of the same stuff. Want to try out some different techniques. And uh, first three casts with a plastic here in years and fish were all over it. Got a hit, but it didn't bu get buttoned. Oh, oh, again! What the hell? <sighs> Two bites, neither one got, got hooked. What's happening? Got some rain moving in from offshore, looks like. I haven't seen any lightning or anything, so no big deal. It is hot. May just uh, cool us off a little bit. These fish, I don't know if they're just not committing or if they're missing it or how oh, they're not getting hooked. No freaking way. That's three. Oh. Uh, 
that one's hooked. <laughs> <laughs> That's not bait. Oh my gosh. That is not bait. Dang, scream it. Woohoo! Yeah, buddy, we all now. Goodness gracious. I don't know what this is, y'all. I was trying to catch a bait for this guy over here and his has died and this is not bait. It might just be a big jack. The fight's definitely slowing down now. Phew, that was crazy hit. Crazy run. Yeah, now it's feeling a little jacky. Hard to tell though, it's, it's a good ways down there after all that line it just ripped off. Phew! We own. Gaining ground on it good now. Might be a jack, just a big jack. I got this live bait out, I gotta be conscious of where it is. Not spin around too much. Yeah, I'm thinking it's a Jack. Jack Creval. Oh man, that first hit, that was nuts. He grabbed that thing and took off. And he was kind of heading to the bottom, so I thought maybe it was something else. But it's feeling pretty jacky now. Unless it's something else that just wore itself out with that initial burst. Still don't see it. He was a ways down there. Oh, I got just a little bit of color. Water's pretty green this time of year. See it? I think it's a jack. Yep. Whew. That was pretty wild. <laughs> Goodness gracious. It's a pretty light rod for a fish this size. That was fun. Let's see if we can get him in the boat. That's a jack there, y'all. <laughs> Dang. That thing was working me. Crazy first run. Solid jack of all. Super strong species out here. Here at Grunton. It's in the Grunt family. Whew. Not where we're out here really targeting, but they're always a good time. Kind of the unsung heroes of, especially of slow days. A lot of times they'll bite when not much else wants to. Super fun fish. We'll send it on his way. Phew. Goodness. Thing worked me. <laughs> Looks like we're about to get wet. Hey Andy, get away from those rocks, reel in your bonita and, and ditch it. They're gonna bring you a radio and a moonfish. They got a moonfish for all of us. Fish on. Some small. Uh, my jig was just sitting down there. I was talking on the radio. Oh, a little, a little yellow snapper. <laughs> this is actually really good eating. Uh, we fry these guys whole. I hit big again on the start of fishing. That is a, a good eater. Oh man, there's a bunch below me. Yeah, we'll do like a whole fried snapper night with these things. I'm gonna slit its throat and then drop right back down. Get this guy bleeding out. Throw him back here. Ah, oh, I drifted off of him. All right, we had some rain come in and the wind picked up with it. It's a lot sloppier out here now. But something just, either my bait got real nervous or something hit it. The line screamed out for a second. And so far it's just been rain, but now we're hearing some thunder. I haven't seen any lightning, but we got some rumbling up in the clouds. 
doesn't look like a thunderstorm and we haven't seen any flashes but if that keeps up i don't know we may have to make a decision it's day one out here with the client so not worth pushing it too much my bait's still there guess he just got nervous something spooked him This is why they call it the rainy season. You. So right now I'm just kind of sitting put, <coughs> keeping my kayak face into the waves. So I'm taking them on the bow and sitting them on the side. I mean, I still got this live bait out, but I'm not really fishing. Just waiting, we're hoping this is gonna pass pretty quick. Just kinda hunkering down right now. It's a little cold. Fish on the Z-Man. I was just kind of bouncing around down there and then as soon as I started bringing it up it got hit and that looks like an African pompano <laughs> sweet oh and the hook's out <laughs> so as on this I lost the paddle tail version of the z-man I had earlier and these guys are pretty cool. We kind of call them uh, like poor man's rooster. You see they got these like long wispies here. Long wispy dorsal fin in the water. Those, those are real pretty, but that's an African pompano. Not a real big one, but these guys are good to eat. So we'll go ahead and keep him as well. Pretty sweet catch. I'm really kind of experimenting right now with these Z-Man plastics. I have not used plastics here much in, in general because other plastics that just little stuff bites the tail clean off like right away. It's just a waste of time, but the Z-Man is a lot more durable, so I thought it might work. And I've got some soft plastics from Catch Fishing Tackle that I use in New Zealand. And they're also made out of very durable elastic plastic. And those should work well as well. Pretty cool, kind of trying new techniques. I've been fishing here a long time, so doing the same old thing. I mean, it works, but it's kind of fun to try something new and, and get some results. Sweet. Oh, real, real, don't let the line slide. Yeah, dude, you're on. Keep the rods into the front of the boat and keep that line tight. The only way you're going to lose that right now is if you slide that line like you are right now. Real, 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 real. Keep that rod tip bent at all times. You may have to reel fast, man. Don't ever let, if that rod is straight, you're risking losing it at any second. So, real, 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 real. All right, Abe here was hooked up. Looks like he slacked the line and now it looks like maybe it's gone or, oh, maybe not. Keep reeling. Yeah, yeah, it's still there. Yeah, dude. Keep that rod to just pull it to the front. Yeah, dude. There you go. Nice. When it gives you any slack, you got a reel. Yeah. Just pull it to the front. You're okay. You're doing great. It's not far. It's right there. Rooster! You want help landing it or you want to get it? I might be able to help. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There it is, bro. All right, let me get this out of the way. Just stay calm and leave the, keep the line tight is the main thing right now. It's the only way you can lose that. He's not gonna go in the rocks or anything like that. I'm gonna come around. Just stay calm. I know I'm not, but just stay calm. <sighs> when he gives you a chance, oh yeah, keep that rod off the gut. Yeah, perfect. See, so you're at the front of the boat, so you're okay. Keep the, get the rod back towards the front, yep. You need it close to the front, but don't try not to get it on that rope or on the on, on the boat itself. I know it's tough. You're doing great. When it gives you a chance, kind of lift up on that rod and reel down. Let's yeah. let's get him to the surface. You're doing great. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Reel, 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 reel. Yeah. See, as soon as it slacks, you gotta like already be reeling. Never hurts to just reel too much. Okay, I need to get out of your way. You're okay. You're doing great. Yeah, buddy. Real, 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 real. Do not let that slack. It's okay. That's just, that's how. It's the only way you can lose it now. Oh, yeah. Digging. 
Yeah, keep it tight. Now when he gets up again, he may run again. I see him, you're close, it's okay. Oh yeah. Real, 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 give it your all, man. This is the time. Do not, do not let that slack. Okay, okay, once that weight gets close, okay. Look at that, bro. Okay, be ready. Yep. I'm gonna come by and try to grab him, but yeah, yeah, be ready for that, exactly. Oh, get the line up there. Sorry. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's not easy, keep it tight. Watch your pedals, you got one foot forward, put one foot forward on the pedals. Okay. You're okay, you're okay. Try to pull him out, I see him. He, yeah, he's right there, okay, okay. Okay, he's looked pretty good. He may be done, I think he's done. Just chill, we got him, we got him. Now he may take off when I try to grab him, okay? Yeah, so just yeah, still yeah. be ready, still be ready. I'm gonna have to let go if he goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got him, dude! Woo. There it is! Yes. Hang on tight, I'm gonna pull, or pull. Can you grab my hand or? Yep. Uh, okay, nice and easy, don't wink. <laughs> there it is! Woo. Okay, set that rod down, yeah. Now you see how I've got him. You're gonna hold here, but don't grab that red part. It's just right up right here. Right underneath? Yeah, right underneath. Just okay. follow that down. Yep, and then nice and tight. Got him nice and tight? You feel like you got him good? I think so, Wait. Okay, hold on real tight with that hand, then you're gonna grab his tail, there you go. My man! Look at this! Abe from Kansas, right? Yes. Look at that, first rooster Woo. on the moonfish. Got hooked up himself, did everything perfect. Coasting through the fight, congrats, bro. Thank you. There it is. Woo. Beautiful fish, too. That's a pretty one. Oh, incredible. All right, let's get some pictures. So keep holding them. Yeah. God, I'm worn out. Uh, I know it. No, they're not easy. Try to get my kayak out of there. Strong fish, man. Okay, let's get this hook out. Free? Yeah. And now I'm gonna grab him. Okay. And I may need to revive it a little bit. Maybe not. Yeah, yeah. Dude. Away from you. Congrats, bro. Thanks. That Hell awesome. yeah. And that's not a giant one. You fell out hard that fool's oh like, they're so yeah. strong. I'm gonna see if she'll go, but she may come back up. I may have to revive her. We'll see. Okay. Coming back up? Oh, uh, okay, okay. I'll revive her. No worries, okay. bro. <laughs> Hell yeah! Thanks for helping. Great job, man. <laughs> nice rooster for Gabe. Hell yeah! You gonna be all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's just tired, like you are, man. You know. So I'm just gonna basically just run with her mouth open and get some water over her gills. Just give her some air basically. And she's still kicking and biting. I mean, she'll be okay. Oh, it's real hard not to panic, especially your first one. I still panic sometimes. <laughs> Great job. That's no wiper, bro. <laughs> Beauty. Yeah. First rooster of the week for the clients. It's a dandy, beautiful fish. Probably 25 pounds, solid. And he's been trolling that moonfish around for probably about two hours. I could tell some of them were kind of losing the faith. I told them just be patient. The right fish will come through and you will be rewarded for your, your patience and your effort. And there it is. Pedal her around a little bit longer, get her good oxygen over her gills. Make sure she swims off strong. Try now. Oh yeah, she kicked off good. Did she go? I think she went. She kicked off as I was trying to. She swam off strong, bro. Okay. Good. My man. Woo. Bucket list just got a little shorter. That was worth the whole trip, man. Hell yeah. First kayak rooster of the trip too. You got bragging rights. Whew, congratulations. The weight was on that one. Huh? What do you think the weight was? Probably like 25. Yeah. Dude, really solid. Like kind of a medium sized rooster, but really solid, dude. Still the biggest fish I've ever caught. The biggest fish you ever caught? Hell yeah. Sure. And I mean, just so cool looking. You did great, man. You did great. Yeah, thank you. Now you see, like, you know, sometimes they'll swim at you and you just, you gotta keep the rod tip bent. And, but I mean, all good, dude. Result. I just started cramping, so I was like, oh, God. Yeah, it's tough. Nah, great job, man. Drink some water, take a minute to chill, and uh, the, I don't think I don't think they have any baits anyways right now. They're okay, I can, I can troll with that with my other one. So. 
Yeah, do some trolling, man. Uh, you take a break for, if you want, but uh, then do some trolling and kind of you can work your legs, give your arms a break. Yeah, for sure. Sick. One down. Yeah, you... Hey.